Hi, my name is David York, and welcome to our Pickle, Ohio Manufacturing Center, where we manufacture our Envy, SH, Chopper, and Surge product lines for both our Deming and Barnes product families. This is our newly designed world-class manufacturing cell that we utilize crane business systems that we use to create flow coming in from receiving through our machine shop into our line side market and then finally into our U-shaped cell introducing all of our products from the back of the cell and creating flow that starts here at the beginning, works its way around and then back out here on the other side. Here we have one of our MV3 pumps and what I really want to talk about is our closed loop cooling system that we have designed for this MV3. With this closed loop system, we are able to circulate, circulate coolant around the inside of this stainless steel chamber here and actually disperse our heat through the wastewater going through the pump itself. For electric motors, dispersing the heat is by far the most important thing to do. Every 10 degrees that you drop in motor temperature, you can actually double the overall life expectancy of your pump. Welcome to our test lab area where we have a variety of dry fit options that we sell to go along with our new MV3 platforms across all frame sizes. We have both the horizontal fixed bracket and our mobile cart. The cart system is particularly nice because it allows you to do maintenance on your pumps without having to completely unhook your pump from the um, existing network. With the cart system, you can remove six bolts from your sealed plate and quickly remove your entire drive unit from your fixed bracket and your volute. This allows easy maintenance on your impeller and checking up on your seals and everything else throughout the life of your pump. So here we have our vertical metal stand. These metal stands are great for any dry pit application and wastewater treatment plants and lift stations anywhere else that you may have. These stands are custom designed for us with a 360 degree adapter plate which allows you to go anywhere in the full rotation. This adapter plate is great for going from a tangential to center line design like ours. What we can do is if, you're, if your exit piping is right here, we can spin it right just a little bit on the 360 degree stand, have some custom fab work come in, redo your piping right here, and you're back up and running. Along with this stand, we have a low to the ground suction pipe. What this suction pipe allows is for if the existing piping in your station is extremely low to the ground, we can get down to that level because it's a lot easier to bring the stand up and make a small concrete stand underneath it rather than having to redo your piping and go down. Along with this, we can also do any custom fab stand that you guys may need. If you have a specialized need for a stand that we do not currently offer, we have local fabrication shops close to Piqua, Ohio that we can call and have a new stand made up for you anywhere right now from six to eight weeks. Along with this, we also have the option for a concrete, metal, concrete stand as well that still utilizes our same 360 degree technology where if they have it specced into the design that you have to be on a concrete pedestal compared to metal, we can use the same um, 360 adapter plate, have a custom flat piece of steel made up for the pump to sit on, and then you're good to go. My name is Josh with Crane Pumps and Systems here in Piqua, Ohio. And here we have our NV Sides Chopper. The idea behind this is to take all the material to pass it through a series of blades, and that's going to turn it into a one to three inch size piece, allowing it to go through your pipework, through your elbows, through your check valves, but still being a large enough size range that it's going to catch inside of a screen and you're able to deal with it at the plant. These are made in Piqua, Ohio, and our full NV series is going to consist of pumps from five horsepower up to 125 horsepower. We'll do a brief top to bottom on this pump. Starting at the very top, we have our lifting bale. It's a beefed up lifting bale, making it a lot easier for the end user to get a hold of it. If they have to drop a hook down in there, we want it to be an easy target, something they can easily latch onto and have a secure connection. It's made of 3 16 stainless, that way it's not gonna be something that rusts out on you. Next is our plug and play. What this allows you to do is rather than messing around with getting into the box, pulling your wire through the conduit, wrapping up your cord, having to worry about it getting in the way when you're working on a pump, having it wrapped around your volute, around the head of your pump, and then after you're done, pushing it back through the conduit and into your box, this allows you to just disconnect it right at the top of your pump. 
This cuts back on the amount of time that you need and the amount of people that you need if you have to bring out an electrician to get into your box. Then the way this cord works, so we have two cap screws on top of here. Torque spec to 50 feet pound. As you tighten down this cord, it's gonna compress this rubber piece, which will expand it inside the head of your pump and create your seal. The configuration of the pins in this head allow it only to be plugged in one direction. So once you've initially bumped for rotation at startup, as long as you're not messing with the wiring inside of the panel, you're not gonna to have to worry about plugging this in backwards and your rotation being incorrect. Inside of this pump, we use non-proprietary replacement parts, seals, bearings, etc. Seals, for example, we use a John Crane Type 21 seal. It's a very standard, very accessible, spring-loaded mechanical seal. This is something that we want the end user to be able to go out and get easily. We carry a good supply of them here on our shelves, and our channel partners will also carry a supply of them. But if the end user finds themselves in a pinch, we don't want to hold them hostage to our lead times. They can go out and have this part readily available and get their pump back in service. Our Envy motor is an IE3 premium efficient motor. In other words, it's a green motor. So there are several different ways that this can be applied. You can have this in a vertical configuration, or a horizontal configuration, or even a 360 stand. It can be in a wet pit or a dry pit. If you have it inside of your dry pit, and for some reason your pit floods, no problem. This pump is able to work fully submersed. If you have this inside of a wet pit, as we mentioned, it is not relying on the externals to keep it cool. Rather, it has a self-contained cooling jacket with glycol circulating through the motor to keep that cool. So you're able to expose the motor and drop your water level down to the, to the top of your volume. What this allows for is you're not going to have that grease buildup. The fat oil and grease ball, the wipes, you name it, is not going to be building up around the top of your motor. You drop that water level, you can suck it through, chop it up, and deal with it at the plant rather than dealing with it at multiple different lift station locations. This also cuts back on the use of vac trucks. Rather than having to go out and either manually scoop it off the top or to suck out those stations, by dropping it, chopping it, and sending it away, you don't have to worry about it. The features of this IE3 premium efficient motor cut back on the overall carbon footprint that this has, whether through the motor energy use or through the use of vac trucks or other external factors that you may need to keep your stations clean. Moving on to the chopping aspect of our pump, we have two blades on this pump. A stationary blade that's mounted onto the bottom of your volute and a rotating blade that's roll pinned and pressed onto your impeller. So for each rotation of your impeller, you get a rotation of your blade against the stationary blade cutting like a pair of scissors through the material every one to three inches. The blades themselves are made of 440C heat-treated stainless steel. We're seeing the life of these ranging anywhere from four to seven years. The way we designed these blades, we don't have an impeller nut at the very opening of your pump. What that can allow for is with an impeller nut there at the opening, you can get different materials, string, hair, floss, you name it, has a chance to wrap up on there it can cut back on your efficiencies, and if you get enough torque on there, it can actually shear off your impeller nut. With our design, we have an open center cutting design with our impeller nut and our impeller pulled back in behind the blades. Any material going through this is now a one to three inch size piece and doesn't have the opportunity to wrap up on those parts. Just like a pair of scissors, you want a very tight tolerance on these blades, anywhere from 3,000 to 8 thousandths of an inch. We recommend going in annually and doing a service check, putting a feeler gauge in there or using a caliper to see what your range is. If you're outside of that range, shimming this is very easy. It can be done in the field in roughly 10 minutes. All that you have to do is drop off your striker plate and it'll come pre-shimmed with a stack of plastic shims mirrored on each side. Once you drop off that striker plate, all you have to do is addition and subtraction. Remove the number of shims that you need to get yourself back into that tolerance. And we have a color-coded key that shows you the different tolerances for each of the shims. Put your new combination in, bolt it back up, and you're good to go. Now I could talk about this pump all day, but instead we're gonna let it talk for itself. So various items such as the shop rags, Our latex gloves, a lot of cleaning materials, such as the Swiffer heads here.
underwear and other cleaning products that get flushed often. Our leather gloves. Sections of rope. Now as you can see, due to the open center cutting design, it's able to pass through there without getting caught up around that impeller nut or getting caught inside of the impeller. And you're not getting a spike in your amps. It's not sitting there working on the material, grinding it up into a big congealed ball and trying to pass that through your pipes. With each rotation of the blade, it's making a clean cut of the material, passing it through your pipe works a lot more efficiently. Some diapers. And everyone's favorite, the flushable wipes. We'll even toss in the package itself. And while we love talking about our power cord, we don't recommend letting it hang in the bottom of your wet well. Of course, everyone's favorite piece to pull out of the pump, the mop head. As you can see, you're not getting a spike in your amps as it's passing through. It's making clean cuts through the material, passing it along the way, making it a lot easier on your end, being able to deal with it at the plant rather than each of your lift station locations. And as you can see here, it's collected in a ball because we're catching it inside of the pantyhose. But you can take your material and put it into those nice one to three inch size pieces. You've got your sections of diaper wipes, your mop heads, tampons, our shop rags, our leather gloves. The sections of rope, nice one to three inch size pieces. It's even chopping through the knots the power cord, and all the packaging for the wipes, for the tampons, the Swiffers, etc. If you have any additional questions, please reach out to your local rep or visit nv3.cranepumps.com.